Hello there, it's uh, Chris Andrew of course and uh, it's an uh, interesting day, interesting day and uh, it's kind of, that's probably weird for uh, people to see me with a big smile on my face but uh, you know, I am, as a, I am as I am, you know, happy-go-lucky that sort of thing and uh, very very relaxed about things and especially relaxed about this Harry Kane situation now um, as many of you know I really don't talk about especially when it comes to Harry Kane because to me it's increasingly like he was going to leave anyway and then a story broke today uh, this morning that uh, finally we accepted the bid for around about well I know people are complaining that um, it's only 100 euros I'm pretty sure it's 100 pounds 100 million pounds uh, so 120 million euros so uh, looks like that's going to be uh, that's going to be sorted or at least that's what I thought because another 24 48 hours ago people were saying that uh, it looks like Kane's increasingly likely to stay at Spurs and this is the part I want to get to this is the part that uh, is probably going to rankle with me because ever since uh, that uh, two years ago when he tried to force a move to Manchester City uh, Failing an injury, not going on tour, going on a holiday or whatnot. People making excuses for him. His brother doing his, his darndest to uh, extricate him from the club. Ever since that all happened, I was kind of relieved to the fact that, um, yeah, he was going to go. And, um, you know, I was very, very confident about, uh, comfortable about him uh, leaving on a free at the end of uh, this coming season. It is what it is. And now... And then the last 40 hours of us saying that um, it was increasingly likely that he might stay. And uh, this is the issue that I have because when the story broke, I, for me, it was, okay, that's it. End of the constant talk about Harry Kane, constant talk about him leaving, constant talk about people from pundits and whatnot saying that he should leave this or any other to uh, fulfill his ambition of winning trophies. So for conveniently forgetting the fact that um, he had three opportunities to win trophies with Spurs. Three, count them, three. Including a Champions League final, which he was not fit to play in. And he didn't perform in them. I'll give him a, a pass for the uh, Champions League one. No, it's not the league final because he was nowhere near fit. And he shouldn't have even uh, have been in the first, you know, in, in the starting lineup. But other games, they didn't show, did show up. League, and that's my take. You know, whether you agree with me, that's uh, that's uh, that's moot, really. He can score goals in matches that have nothing going on them, riding on them, I should say. And uh, a derby match for me doesn't count as a big match. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, that just literally is for me. A big match is uh, a game that is pivotal in the title race. Pivotal in winning a trophy and in all, in all those games you've either found wanting or has been injured that's my take you know I just uh, obs observe what I observe and people will make the excuses that um, you know it's not just him not just down to him that uh, you know that we uh, lost those trophies that's by the by as far as I'm concerned he's as culpable as uh, in us not winning anything in the 10 years that he's been with us then yeah you know, you know as well as any other player but when it was announced that um, he was going to uh you know that uh, spurs had, had uh, accepted the bid i was like okay fine and then of course the last 48 hours I've been told that uh there's an increasing likely chance that uh he might just stay and that was um that was communicated to, uh, to everyone last 48 hours before that the story of this bid was um, was uh, being accepted was uh, was announced and um, by the sounds of it it was accepted like uh, 48 hours ago well between 24 to 48 hours ago so it was kind of like known within the circles and then obviously the ITKs have broken it if, they, if that is true then that's what's kind of happened um, and now you know they accepted the bid I guess I don't know whether it was a case of a saying to a cane well there you go you can't say that we're standing in your way now if you want to go go because we've accepted the bid so uh i'm not quite sure why there's this delay because if we believe sky sports in germany and um, the itks he'd already agreed uh personal terms 
with um, with Bayern Munich some three, four weeks ago. So why there's now a uh, a heart to heart thrown to decide whether he wants to go or not, I don't know. It can't be a case that um, he's now looked at how we've been playing in uh, pre-season and uh, decides to himself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe I fancy. I, I, I like what I've seen here. Yeah. I fancy staying for for a season. For me, it has to be a clean break, and especially if he's not going to sign that contract, because apparently we've uh, looks like we're going to double his money. Well, more than double his money. I think they came around about five hundred thousand pound a week. So, by by far and away the uh, the highest earner at the club. And. Um, if he's not going to sign that contract, then I say, you know, if he's a Spurs through and through, as uh, everyone says, and that he likes to say that he is as well, then you know he'll allow us to uh, to uh, get this uh, 120 million euro in, and uh, we do with it what we what we can. I I'm just tired, sick and tired of this whole merry-go-round, this whole charade, this whole. You know, will he, won't he, bollocks. I just want it to come to an end. And I just want to talk about Spurs trying to get back up to the top again, trying to get back into uh, title contention, trying to get back into uh, trophy contention. That's all I want to talk about. As you saw in the, in the live stream last night with the, um, the AFL Cup draw, I didn't field any questions regarding Kane. I did not so much as want to discuss him. And... Uh, the idea was, you know, especially after uh, this bid was accepted, I didn't want to discuss him even more. But I just kind of felt compelled to, um, because there is going to be a narrative that every Spurs fan is going to be upset about this. I'm upset, yes. I'm upset that it wasn't sorted sooner. And I'm not of the uh, idea that, you know, he should go to, um, he should go and go to Bayern Munich or go to whoever to fulfil his dreams of winning trophies because that's why I brought up the uh, three finals that he's been in that's why I brought up the uh, well I didn't bring up the uh, three title challenges that he's been in but uh, he has been in numerous numerous um, uh, trophy chasers so he's had up ample opportunity to uh, challenge play for and win trophies at Spurs and he has not played well in any of them and he Along with the, along with the team as well, I'm not going to lay it all at his feet. I didn't I didn't at the time, and I'm not going to do so now. But he's had an ample opportunity at Spurs to win trophies. He hasn't taken them, and uh, I know that uh, the, the blame will go here, there, and everywhere, apart from at the feet of the players itself. But um, you know, the blame goes blame goes on Levy as well. But as, as I've always said, you know, if the player the players are good enough to get to a final to be challenging for a, for a title why all of them bar Kane suddenly poor when it comes to that last ditch effort so it doesn't wash with me it never has done but in the case of this uh, whole Bayern Munich saga he should just he should just go he should just go he's been eyeing leaving for the last two three years he should just go and this is an ample opportunity for us to get decent money for him as far as I'm concerned and uh, we'll look to try and uh, because Ange Postecoglou is building a squad, is building a team capable of uh, doing what he's done at Chelsea, doing what he did at um, Yokohama Marinos, doing what he did at Brisbane Raw, and that is eventually getting a team that plays good football and wins stuff. And that's all I want to see. And if it mean, if that means the end of the Kane saga, then for me it means the end of the Kane saga. I don't want to be focusing everything on one player ever again like that. You know, <laughs> I mean, players come and go. The fans are there forever. That's how I see it. So, uh, you know, and, and there was a very famous quote, often uh, attached to Spurs, that says that uh, the name, on the, the badge on the front, is always more important than the name on the back. So, that's kind of how I feel about it. So, if Kane is looking to go, he should go. We've, we've, we've accepted the bid because. Obviously, he's spoken to Bayern Munich behind our backs and they felt confident enough that he wanted to come. So much so that they kept upping the bid and upping the bid and upping the bid. Then, now it's all sorted and we said, OK, we've accepted the bid. You can go now. So, he should just accept it and go. All I want now is to talk about Spurs building a squad and challenging again. I don't want to talk 
I mean, I'm tired of talking to the rival fans, you know, when I go away and whatnot, and they're asking about Kane. I'm sick to death of it. So this is the end of it now, is the end of it now. I mean, now we can just put, uh, put that to, to, to bed and move on. But that's just my take on it. It's very, very controversial, I'm sure. Uh, sure, because I'm, because I imagine that many will be, imagine me, imagine that I'll be upset and crying this than the other. I was more upset two years ago when he tried to uh, force through the move to um, Manchester City. And when that didn't come off, he uh, went on holiday and then came back. Uh, I think it was about a, a couple of weeks into, the, into the, that season. Conveniently after we played Manchester City, in fact. So, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's football. Life moves on. So, uh, we shall... Uh, we shall get, get better and we shall, you know, we've got young players, got other ones who are one of our own there. Dane Scarlett, who's looks like coming, coming on leaps and bounds. Troy Parrott, maybe not so known, but he's still young enough. And, you know, we just move. We move on now. So, that is what it is. That's my take on it. Let me know if you agree. Probably not. I imagine there'll be a few people who will um, be saying, what the hell's he on about? But... It's just how I see it. It's just kind of what I think should be going on at Spurs instead of focusing on one player that obviously does not want to be there. Okay, let me know what you think. Thank you for listening. Come on, you Spurs. And you can see me because it's such a big sunshine here. You all take care.